You know, um, Old Harbor has the best king salmon in the world, by the way. I people didn't mention that. I'm going to say that. Their white kings are very good. It's a pleasure. This is my 44th time I spoke in the AFN. So you're not going to hear too much new than what I spoke in the past years. I know we take a lot of credit for the formation of the AFN. It actually happened in Fairbanks. There couldn't be a better place to have the celebration of 50 years. I was somewhat involved in it as a white man. My wife was very active with Tom Snap, Jules Wright, Ralph Perdue, Emil Nadi. I can go down that line. Those people originally had the first meeting in the old labor hall. And it's a great pride that I'm able to be here today to see what has happened with AFM, the most powerful tool for Alaska Natives and for the state of Alaska has been created for the AFM. I want to thank you. I want to thank Julie for her participation, her longevity. She has more perseverance than I do. It's a hard job, but she's done it because of the help of you. And you've just begun. You've just begun. With the population, the land base, the vision, desire to retain your culture, and yet have an economic base to make this state continue to grow. I'm an elder. That's hard for me to say. I'm not old. I'm an elder. Just keep that in mind. I'm 83 years old, and I feel like I'm 28. Till I, this summer, I went home. You know, I've always been on the Yukon River. That's my second girlfriend, the Yukon River. And I was going to go out on the boat. And uh, in my garage, before I put the boat in, I reached for two six-gallon cans of gasoline. And I reached down, and I grabbed both handles. And guess what? Someone glued them to the floor. <laughs> my God, I finally got one, and I'm like this. That's called maturity. <laughs> but it's a pleasure to be mature and still provide and serve the people of Alaska and Alaska Natives. As an elder, though, I'd like to sort of rehash a little thing that's come up recently. Megan spoke about it. This is seriousness. Let's not go backwards. Let's not go back to the government. Let's be self-determined. Let's govern our own people. With the land mass you have, and the intelligence you have, and the vision you have, you will be the leader in this state and this nation. Let's not go back. I have, every day, as chairman of the American Indians, Alaska Natives Subcommittee, and by the way, that is a very, very serious committee. I've had somebody that wants to seek this office and it was just a little committee. It's one of the best committees for American Indians, Alaska Natives. And I have tribe after tribe after tribe come in and say, what can we do to get the yoke of the federal government off our back? So please, as an elder, before anyone steps into that quagmire of regulation, non-self governments, being told what to do, study it very carefully. We work very hard. You work very hard with AMN. This is the Pythias here to create a viable force of people, Alaskans, the first people, the first Americans, the first people. And you've done that. And let's keep going forward. That's what I'm trying to do. And being mature, I sometimes look in the past and say it was, it was great, but the future could be greater. It can be something that not only your children will be proud of, and you will be proud of, that down the road in history it will say this was the greatest movement in any one state by a large group of individuals that believed in themselves. That's what I'm asking you. My door has been open. In fact, that most of you in this room, somewhere along the line, since 1973 when I got elected, we, we passed numerous pieces of legislation. I don't think there is a corporation in this state, it has not been affected by legislation which I have passed. The most major ones, I would say, the CDQ program. 
The Pipeline Act itself affects you as you get your permanent dividend every every year. The um, the 1991 Act. A lot of people don't even remember that because of when we passed the 71 Act, the last name Land Claims Act. In 20 years, your land can be sold. And the leadership of AFN came back to me and said, we changed that. And we changed it. Now, the lands cannot be sold. You don't have to go into trust to have your lands protected. It's already protected if you do it yourself. But they won't be up on the block. And I can go on down the line, the health care bill, the transfer of lands in most every, every region in this state, I've worked to transfer federal lands to you because my door's been open and I've always listened to you. That's the job of a congressman or representative, is to listen to the people, understand what they want, be honest with them, work with them, and achieve their goal. That's being the congressman the spokesman for all Alaskans. Some people don't agree with it. I think that's the best part. Some people say, what was your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement is helping individual people. Every day, I wake up and if I can do one thing for one person or a group of people, I've been successful and I am able to do that. And if I can learn one new thing every day, I'm a happy individual. That's one thing about it, ladies and gentlemen, I've always been happy. I've been sad. When I lost my wife, Lou, I was very sad. But I was happy because I knew she was in a better place and she was happy. I was still sad, but I was fortunate. Man is rarely given a second opportunity to grasp, to love, and to hold a second person. I met my new bride, my aunt, who's sitting down there, a little upset with me because I brought her up. She's a blonde. <laughs> If you don't catch that, you're really excited. You know? <laughs> but it's been good for me, and I hope it's been good for her. As long as I am happy, I can do the job for you. I ask you again to think about that. I have not failed you. I will not fail you. I will be honest with you. I will meet with you, and I will achieve for you as Congressman of all of Alaska. Thank you very much.